Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. You see I have pre-designed a little bit here and I have a puppy between my feet. She's very cute and very mischievous, so you might have to put up with me complaining about her a few times. Hey, can you can you show your little face to the peoples? Yeah, you're so cute. Okay, so this is a different kind of layout. As you can see, this says in loving memory. This is my husband's granny. And um, she passed away at the age of 86 or 87. But from, she had uh, MS, but that's not why she died. She died of complications due to uh, COVID. Uh, she got pneumonia and just couldn't beat it. And uh, we're a faith-filled family, so we believe we know where she is now. And um, the visit there was bittersweet because she was suffering for a while. And by the time she passed, it was sort of an answer to prayer. So... Um, this is, um, my mother-in-law speaking to some people afterwards when we were visiting. This is grandma's knitting that I found, uh, at grandpa's house, which really touched my heart. And then, um, my sister-in-law had had puppies. This is my little niece and the boys. And this one here is, we had a brand new niece that was just born like three or four, maybe a week before, but so... This is the memory I want to commemorate. And I want to use Live in Full Bloom because Grandma did. She was in a scooter due to her MS, but she lived in Full Bloom. So that is the plan with this layout. Unfortunately, the In Full Bloom paper pack is completely sold out. But if you have it, then here is a good layout idea for you. So because grandma and her knitting were kind of my main focus, I wanted to put that strip of the um, tealy paper behind, also because the trim on her knitting was teal. I was using this Picture My Life card as uh, an extra mat for the photo of grandma, which is kind of the focus of the layout. It's actually a picture of the front of her funeral program. I was just making sure that I had the space to cut out um, these two a tag and a tab from the tags and tabs. And uh, then I fussy cut the lace off the bottom of this piece of paper so that I could flip it around and it could go under the knitting because it seemed fitting to be under the knitting. <laughs> Didn't mean to rhyme, but I did. I also cut a big chunk off that long panel because I was planning to put the photo right to the side and that way it was covered anyway so I can conserve that paper for another project. I inked around the edges, especially of the newspaper print. I find a defined edge looks a lot nicer than just the cut edge. My husband's grandma lives about four hours away. So uh, when we go there, that's where most of the family lives. And um, so when we go there, it's a trip. We visit and spend time with, uh, my husband has five siblings and they all live in that, all but one live in that area. And so it's, as I said before, it's bittersweet to um, go there because, well, normally it's fun to go there, but it was bittersweet this time because the reason we were going was a bit sad, but the, and I say a bit because we were um, praying for grandma to be at rest because she was really suffering. So the reason was sad, but we still had a nice time reminiscing and visiting with people and getting to meet the new baby and etc. Just arranging and uh, fussing around with things. I won't make you watch all of it. I'll skip ahead here and there to when I got things accomplished. I really didn't like that blue pool that's in the picture of my husband looking at the puppies. And so I tried to find a way to sort of cover up that pool because I found it distracting. Those were uh, half Bernie's Mountain Dogs, half Heinz 57 puppies that my sister-in-law's um, Bernie's Mountain Dog had. She sold them all. COVID puppies were a big thing. 
As you can hear right now, my puppy is chewing on a water bottle, but she's not bothering me, so I'm just gonna let her chew on it. So if you hear something, that's what you're hearing. If you stay tuned to the very end of this video, you will see a picture of her and me on our recent camping vacation. So I'm just moving, moving things around until I like how they look. I wanted to kind of have a cluster that went around the knitting. I kind of, the knitting was kind of the reason I decided to do this layout because I was just with my husband visiting his grandfather and, you know, he was talking about how different his life was going to be and... Yep, there laid grandma's knitting, just as if she was gonna come back and finish it. And that did bring some tears to my eyes. I thought, oh, it's just, it's gonna be a hole in everyone's life, so. So you saw me pointing there to those gray areas. I wanna fill that in a little bit more once I have my clusters made. I've got a little leaf that I'm going to add in right away. And there's this little love banner that ends up going over the pool which is perfect because you can still see the puppies underneath and the puppies above but um i can cover up that bright blue pool that's kind of sitting behind the dog kennel there i realized i was going to tuck quite a bit of this leaf behind so i fussy cut it out a little bit and i tucked some of it behind in the corner by the puppies and then I added some there uh, just where those tags are sitting. So it's amazing what you can conserve and what you can use double up on using. I just think that that little love is perfect there. And just some of the empty space sitting in front of Jordan, my little niece there. My boys are really enthralled with the little ones. Uh, less so now. But they do, they do really like to play with them and they think they're pretty cute. I'm just using my pencil to trace around the edge of some of the embellishments so I'll know where to put them back after. And then I'm going to remove them and here I'm inking some of the stickers just to give them a little bit more of that weathered look. But here I'm using uh, one of the Tim Holtz um, Distress Oxide inks. Uh, I want to say it's a peacock one, but I will link it below so you'll know which color it is. And I'm just kind of adding um, a little hue of teal up there just because it's a little bit boring with those empty spaces up there. So I'm trying to make them kind of ray out with the little sponge dauber. I meant to order those rounded um, pads that go on there and somehow I didn't get them. Oop, that's a sneak peek. If you're listening to this, the rounded pads are in the new catalog. But I didn't end up putting them in somehow. So I just kind of trimmed mine to have a rounded edge. When they don't have a rounded edge, they really will make a circle. Um, you'll see the circle print. So it's nice to have the rounded ed edge ones because they'll really um, fade out to the edge, which is quite nice. I'm just going to um, place, replace my, glue my pictures down and replace all my um, decorative items. And I know exactly where they need to go back because I traced around them with that pencil just lightly. So I can just tuck them right into the right spots. So that works quite good. Another wonderful thing about my husband's grandma is uh, she has the same name as me, Amy. She spells it differently, but that was always kind of neat. And I always felt quite close to her. I think uh, she was just a kind lady, but also a lady, a determined lady, and probably could call her a bit stubborn. But I was just really always impressed with how she dealt with the fact that she had MS and she couldn't walk. She had so many things she could no longer do, and she just cheerfully went on with her life. So live in full bloom is really appropriate for her. And I think it's appropriate for the other pictures of the kids and the dogs. And it's just one of those layouts that makes you think of the whole circle of life and um, how special every moment really is. Picking out a little butterfly from the sticker sheet here and deciding where to put it 
Oh, I started with a flower, but I end up with a butterfly because I just didn't like that little corner that's open and showing there to the background. And I didn't really want to mo move the info bloom back anymore. So I just covered it with a little, a little butterfly sticker, which worked good. I also wanted to add a little yellow flower sticker and I decided I was going to tuck it behind the picture of the puppies so half of it would only be showing. So that way I cut it in half and put the other half on the other side, tucking it under those flowers, making another layer visible. So I do have another little tip on how to add a black border if you don't want to use a whole other sheet of black paper. I cut half inch strips and I put a straight one um, down each side, like the left and the right side. And then I corner cut the one that goes across the bottom and put it over. The reason I cut that angle cut there is because then it looks like a picture frame if anyone notices. And the reason I don't cut both angles is because I have tried that and it is almost impossible to get them perfect enough to match up. So this way it looks like a picture frame if anyone notices that you're, you don't have a continuous frame around the outside. It's a different look than when you layer or mat the layout up because when you do it this way, of course, the frame is sitting on top of the layout. I took away one of those um, little tabs at the top. I am going to add that one back in later on top of my um, son's picture with the newborn baby. Here I'm just adding a little bit of dashed lines for stitching on that little piece of lace that's going on the bottom. And then I'm gonna show you how I do my journaling. It's pretty simple. I just write it all out in pencil first. Sometimes it takes a little erasing and rewriting it to get it the right amount of words to fit in the spot. And when I was done with that, then I went over it in the um, journaling pen that I have. And then I just erase from the background the pencil. I have the name of the baby, Hope, in the other picture. Here's a close-up. Oh, Grandma's pretty knitting. Then um, on the top of that picture of my son and the baby, I do have the name Hope, but I have to put the date she was born because she was very new in that picture. So this is how the layout turned out, commemorating uh, my husband's grandma. I hope you enjoyed watching it come together. I hope you will click like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this content. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye.